Oh my god, happy new year, kitty cats. So, by the time you're seeing this, which is next Tuesday for me, um, it will have been the new year already. Okay, so we are lighting the luck candle in celebration of the new year. We are bringing luck in this new year. Good times. Today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I know, it's been a minute since I did a makeup tutorial. Okay, listen, I've kind of just been recycling old vlogs, I'm not even going to lie. Um, not not all of them are old, though. Some of them are more recent. Like, like last week's episode was recent. But here we are. We're back. Better than ever. New year. Same me. Uh, I did a poll on Instagram where I asked you guys what kind of makeup tutorial you would like to see from me. Uh, I gave you several options, but majority voted for natural glam makeup, which I did and like mastered last year, but then it kind of didn't become my style. And so like more 2021 has been cat girl makeup, which was one of the options. I don't know what it's been with November and December that everyday glam style just came back. I don't know. It just came back, you know, and I've been enjoying beating the fuck out of my face. How was your Christmas? I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. My Christmas was good. I spent it with my boyfriend and my parents. Soldiers. I spent it with my boyfriend and my parents at my parents' house. Uh, we spent the night, like a couple nights, and it was really relaxing. It was nice to be in the company of my parents and my boyfriend. And my mom was a great host. And it was nice to like visit home. For the holidays it's like my it's literally my first year visiting home for the holidays besides like college but i don't really count that mm, mm, definitely refreshing to see my parents and i feel like i get along with them more now that i'm farther away from them if that makes sense so we're gonna start off by priming because i just exfoliated so i know this looks like a lot of primer but it's also like moisturizing so that is why we're doing this today. Okay, I switched up the setup a little bit. I'm gonna be looking off camera a lot. This is my mirrors right here, so don't mind that. Anyways, we're gonna go in with some foundation. It doesn't really matter what product you use, just a product that works for you. That's my advice on that. Lately, I've been using a brush to apply and then getting rid of all the streaks with a beauty blender. Okay, now that I look like I took a paint roller to my face, we're gonna take our wet beauty blender and just kind of sink it into the skin. Because, okay, they say that I think it's like a brush is gonna give you more coverage, whereas like a sponge is gonna be a lighter coverage, I think. I don't know, I didn't go to beauty school. Um, but I feel like the brush does give me more coverage and it, you know, like it's gonna make, since the synthetics hairs aren't gonna pick as much product up as your sponges, it's gonna like place the product onto your face more. But then to really like melt it into my skin, I go in with a beauty blender because I, Honestly, personally feel like I can never get a foundation to like melt into my skin if I'm just using a brush. I feel like it just sits on top of my skin. Now that we have the foundation applied to our skin in a better way, I'm gonna go in with concealer. Doesn't matter which kind you use. When I apply my concealer, I know where my eye bags are, and they're mostly right here in this area. Zeldris, oh my god. I'm sorry. Eye bags are mostly in this area, like in this pocket. And so that is what I want to be covering up the most, like more than anything. But I feel like the placement of your concealer isn't like anything you need to be worrying about. I feel like everybody knows at this point the general areas to highlight and to contour so just go with that 
and I'm also going to end up taking my contour stick because I don't always do this but sometimes I do and so I just take it where I want my cheekbone to be and so you see this shadow kind of right here I just accentuate that but I don't go super heavy right here I just go light and then heavy like upwards of my cheek you don't want it on I want it like above and then this gives me a little like this makes my face more like heart-shaped now you can do your nose contour so many different ways I feel like I come up with a new way to do it every single time I do my makeup um, so I just go with the flow I feel like that's usually what I do um, but in general what happens every time is I go under and over creating this little circle because I like the button nose shape as is what's popular right now I feel like um, and then you're just gonna go I really like having a lot of contour in this crease right here like I just like the way that it deepens your eye I'm sorry if you'll hear my dog he's chewing on a dog toy right now it was his Christmas present. And I feel like the placement of creams, you know, it's important, but it doesn't have to be like super perfect because you're literally gonna go in with a sponge and like kind of mess it up anyways. So if you feel like you mess up with cream contour, it's not that important. It's, it's not that big of a deal. So now I take my beauty blender. I'm just taking like one side of it uh, because I want my contour to stay in the same general area that I put it in. Um, and we're just gonna tap it out. Beat in the face. When I do like everyday glam, I do like Instagram model, like snatch to the gods. You know what I mean? Or at least I try. So I like doing my contour first and then my highlight because then I can blend the highlight into the contour, um, which I feel like is important because you want your highlights to pop out over your contour. And then I'm going on the blank side of the beauty blender that I haven't used yet. and just kind of tapping all along, mixing the foundation with the contour. I feel like that looks pretty good. Now you're gonna get some highlight like I'm doing accidentally blended with the contour, but I feel like that's fine, you know? Cream contour does not have to be perfect because we're going over all of this with powders anyways. But my concealer, I'm kind of keeping everything that was in this pocket in the same place and just patting it in. Because, like I said, I don't want it to move anywhere. I just want it blended out because I want it to cover up those eye bags that I know are underneath. So once I've patted it in there, I just kind of went around with the excess on my sponge. And, you know, we blend the contour into the highlight. So it's just as excess on my sponge. Blend the contour into the highlight. Bring the highlight up always you know you always want to contour up too if you contour down you're gonna look like you have a beard okay now we have our base all laid out looking a little bit crazy but we're about to put a bunch of powder on it it's just gonna look much more bland so i don't know if y'all can tell but i get creases under my eye if i let the concealer sit there too long that was just some weird angles so i'm gonna blend that out and then immediately powder it. So I'm using a little powder puff. Um, you don't have to use a powder puff. I also would recommend a... Well, I don't know where it is, but 
it's like a microfiber um, beauty blender. Um, I definitely recommend that for powder. Okay, so basically I'm just going in and I'm patting down since I don't have setting powder right now. But this is kind of what I would do with my setting powder anyways. I'm going in with setting powder and I'm patting down all of my areas that I know get super oily. And so like for me, I have a really oily T-zone. So I'm just going in like I know especially my nose gets super oily. And we're gonna just pat it down so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I also like to take you know this whole area and do like with the powder puff as well because that's how you really get that more airbrushed look but then for the rest of the face just take a powder brush and you're just trying to set everything most part that is done see it looks a lot less crazy now yeah in drag i'm pretty sure it's called like underpainting is what you did with all that contour. I mean, if you did it with me, you know, that's underpainting. So we did everything underneath. Set it all to a blank canvas again. Um, relatively, you know, everything we did is still under there, but for powder, it's a blank canvas with a guide. You know, it just has like a guide underneath. Contour time. So I'm just taking the Kat Von D palette once again. It doesn't matter what contour you use. Just find the right shade for your skin tone and you'll be set. And then, you know, we're blending up into like almost where you would highlight. Like that's kind of where I'm blending into because it's gonna sit lower on the face. Every time I do my contour, I just think about, I don't know what that was. I just think about Brittany Broski and her hot dog bun cheek. And I don't like to like go heavy right here. I just kind of like to dust it, you know? So I'm not trying to have like major cheekbones or jawline, but I am trying to have like something. Now that we're looking a little crazy, we're gonna make it more crazy taking darker shades just on the corner of my brush. And we're just gonna go right in this pocket where y'all saw me add cream contour to. If you know who Trixie Mattel is, then you know how she does her contour. Um, she has that really dark brown, like right at the bottom of the cheekbone. And that's what we're doing, essentially. Not the Trixie Mattel cheeks. I'm gonna take the leftover on my brush I'm just gonna go down my neck and my chin and we're gonna go in with this crazy line and just diffuse it all right now that i've done my base contour for my cheeks forehead and chin you guessed it it's time for nose top contour again i have to switch to a hand mirror because um i don't know contour just be intimate like that i feel like contour is really easy to mess up um and i'm not trying to have a mess up today because I'm giving y'all tutorials. I gotta do it right. So I'm basically just replicating the same shape you saw me do earlier. Bow powders. And the powders were not gonna go as extreme because we're not like blending this out like we did the contour. I'm sorry, the mirror is just gonna have to be in the way because I need it to be honest. Same exact shape as we did with the cream contour. Now you could stop there, but I'm extra and I really like these corners to be pretty dark. So I'm just going in with a little bit of my darker contour. See, I don't know why, but I really love that look. There's this girl on TikTok um and she is like this is like probably one of the most accentuated areas of her makeup and she has like little doll eyes like she makes them like her lower lash line bigger if i knew her at i'd say it but okay now that our contour our nose is like intense 
as fuck. You just gotta blend it out, you know? When in doubt, blend it out. That's a good piece of advice, to be honest. Okay, now I'm pretty satisfied with where we landed on that. I do have a tendency to make my nose contour like way too strong. I'm not even gonna lie, but I feel like by the end of the makeup look, it always turns out. So that's really all that matters. At the end of the day, even if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. Now it's time for blush. We're gonna go in with our blush brush and wow can you tell which one i use the most it's because the other two have a uh, like highlighter in them um and we're just gonna go in with this blush now if you're doing like an instagram baddie look you might want to like consider if you even want to add blush blush is gonna blend in your contour and i feel like make your felt face cohesive but um Sometimes I just want a very brown neutral look and I will not add blush. So it's really up to you, girly. Whatever look you're going for. Um, Cause I mean, you can always do like this blush that I'm using right now is more of a mauve. It's not like a super pinky or orangey color. It's kind of neutral. So I feel like this color works well with um, like nude looks. I apologize, lighting is getting a little bit crazy right now, um, but I did brows and highlight off of camera just so that we can move a little bit faster. I feel like brows and highlight are pretty self-explanatory and brows are also something that depends on the person. Um, going in with my palette right here uh, i'm gonna be going for probably like these colors maybe a little bit of this one um, so if you saw there's a lighter color on the top middle and we're gonna take that and just kind of i like to blend my nose contour up here with my crease and my eyelid i think i've said that on many a tutorial but here we go here's a new one new year new me new tutorial i hated that <laughs> anyways we're just kind of putting that color all around the eyelid um blending it out this is our base color that's gonna blend darker colors into it um so it's nothing too crazy, just a little bit of color for our eyelid, adding some dimension so that our eyelid isn't just blank because even though that's a look sometimes, that's more, mm, I feel like that's kind of more of a gothic look for like blank eyelid and like heavy eyeliner. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely goth, but I don't think that's the tutorial y'all want to see right now. I mean, if it is, let me know. I will definitely do a goth makeup tutorial. So then I'm taking the color right underneath it, which is just slightly darker. And I'm gonna go in this outer rim, um, a little bit closer to the eyelid, not taking it out as far, just blending it into the existing color. Um, and this is just adding dimension into our outer corner. As you can see, this one has more dimension than this one. That is our eye makeup done for the most part. I'm just going to go in with this shade right here in the corner. I always like to take shimmer shades on my finger because I feel like it works the best. And I'm just going to give my eyelid a little bit of shimmer. Oh, I wanted to talk about my series that's coming up. Um, so if you didn't know, I've kind of been leaking some stuff on Instagram stories at Sierra on Instagram if you don't already follow me. Um, I've kind of been leaking some things 
teasing some things about an upcoming series um and if i'm not mistaken let me see yeah so the series actually comes out next upload so next tuesday y'all better tune in because it's gonna be good um next tuesday is starting the series um do I want to see what it is? I don't know. <laughs> Should I tease it more? Okay, it's a series about astrology. Um, and it's also going to be makeup tutorials at the same time. Okay, well, not necessarily tutorials, but I'm going to be doing makeup at the same time as telling the stories. Which is big inspo, Bailey Sarian, if you don't know who she is. She does murder mystery makeup. I know I already mentioned her once on this episode, but on this episode, on this video, but she does murder mystery makeup and I love her. She's a big inspiration in my makeup videos, um, all of that good stuff. So I decided to take something that she does and like put my own spin on it. So she does uh, true crime stories while she um, does makeup and I'm going to be doing stories of astrology while I tell my makeup. I'm actually going to be telling the stories of the mythology behind the zodiac signs. Um, so we're kicking it off with Aries. So all my Aries out there, you better be tuning in next week. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun making it. I already made the script for it, so I know that's going to be a good episode. You better be tuning in, bitch. I don't care if you're not an Aries. I know you probably got Aries somewhere in your chart. And if you don't, I know you know someone with Aries in their chart. So you should, you should listen in. Now it's not necessarily like all about that zodiac. It's like that zodiac sign. It's more about a story. It's literally just a story about the mythology. Um, like, oh, um, cancer is a crab. It's about the crab that lived and then became uh, immortal in the stars. Because that's what um, becoming a, a zodiac sign was. It was, um, which I'll save a lot of this for later, but basically they do something honorable or memorable. You get immortalized in the stars by the gods. And so that's how, at least in the Greco-Roman mythology, that's how all of the... Um, animals and people became the astrology signs and the constellations um so yeah i really hope y'all tune in because i'm i'm putting a lot of work into it and i'm really proud of it and it's definitely gonna be something of my own creation like i know it was inspired by someone but i've had this idea for for months now and i'm finally executing on it and it's just I'm gonna be I'm so excited for it. I really hope y'all enjoy it. So <laughs> I can't believe that's gonna be the next upload after this video. Wow. It's uh January eleventh. If you don't already have it set on your calendars, put it on your calendar. Because it's gonna be something you don't wanna miss. Enough of that eyeliner time. I I think I've given plenty of eyeliner tutorials, so I don't know if y'all want me to explain this. I also do big eyeliner, so if you're looking for a natural glam makeup eyeliner, this is not the tutorial for you. I've done natural eyeliner, but that's not what we're doing today. Now you can do whatever kind of eyeliner you want but 
personally, my goth self is going to do some big black eyeliner. Honestly, I think I'm just going to do my eyeliner off the camera. So I will be back with my eyeliner done and we will get into the lash tutorial because I have something new to show you. Oh my god. So we finally have eyeliner on. I kind of messed up. I'm not going to lie, but we're going to ignore it because it mm, nothing. Mm, nope, it never happened. Um, so I put my eyelash glue on my eyelashes, um, waiting for it to get tacky. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you the hack that I use. Uh, this is a paintbrush with eyelash glue on it. We're going to take it and go all along where our eyelash is going to go. It's okay if it's messy. It's supposed to dry clear, so... No, we're just gonna go with it. It'll be okay. I know I'm like covering up all of my eyeliner right now, but I promise it won't look as goofy in a, in a little bit. So now that I have it all, essentially I just followed my eyeliner all over my eyelid and we look ridiculous. I'm gonna repeat it on the same side. Now I did put eyelash glue on my eyelashes as well as my actual eyelid. Not gonna lie, I am not using the best brush for this right now, but that is my fault. This brush is a little stiff. Um, you're gonna want something that's closer to what an eyelash glue brush would be like. Which, like, why don't I just use that? <laughs> like, why don't you just do that? Okay. Now we're gonna wait for it to get tacky so it should clear up. Okay, my right eye is almost dry. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start applying our lash to it. I'm just gonna apply it as close to the lash line as I can get it. Making sure all of the corners are laid down. We don't want our lashes coming up. And now what I'm going to do is not for everyone. This might hurt some people if you're not delicate enough, but it's not that serious. I'm gonna pinch my eyelid and bring it forward. You just roll it forward onto the eyelash. I don't know how much of that y'all can see, but you just pinch it forward onto the eyelash. Ooh. And my glue wasn't quite dry enough, so this is kind of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. We got there. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's gonna hide your lash line um, so that when you look down, you're not gonna see that big old band there. Second of all, it's going to lift your lashes because like what I did was I took thicker on the outside and so it's going to lift those lashes up um, and you won't be looking like no droopy lash girl. Okay, now my lashes are basically on and I got a little bit of eyeshadow on my lashes themselves. I'm just gonna fix that up with some mascara. I'm gonna do mascara off camera. So I'll see you back when it's done and it looks slayed and then we'll go into lips. Okay, we are in the final stretch. Um, I don't know if I've done a lip tutorial before but we're doing one right now. Also, I wanted to show y'all what the lashes looked like. I had to do a little bit of eyeliner on top. But yeah, it just gives you this like lifted, you know, very brats look. Speaking of brats, the lips we finna do are gonna go like heavy brat style. Okay, we getting real up close and personal. Don't make fun of my um, 
lip pencil i don't have a sharpener bro i'm like out of all of my makeup right now i'm an eyeliner i'm out of eyelash glue i'm out of eyelashes like these eyelashes on my last leg and i had to like doctor them to get here anyways so i used to always do like the dome lid you know like the princess peach lip um but i haven't been doing that lately i've been doing more natural so we're gonna go with my natural cupid's bow but we're gonna go right on the edge like right on the the like the absolute like farthest we can get without like making it look not natural Okay, now that we have all of this outlined, um, you could stop here for the upper lip, but, okay, we'll stop here, but I'm gonna do what I do later and explain that as well. And so we're onto the bottom lip. We're doing the same thing. We're just going right outside of our lip. Now it's gonna look extreme, but you're still tracing your natural lip line. My lip liner is also just like busted right now. Now we have our outline, gotta connect it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these corners on my upper lip and just make them go out just slightly and it just makes your lip point slightly upwards gives you the brat's lip you feel me and now that i have both of those corners done i'm just gonna go in with a brush slightly blend out my lip liner we're just doing this because sometimes lip liner product can get placed in only one area so we don't want it to be oversaturated So, much better. Um, should I do a liquid lipstick or a stick lipstick? Is that what it's called? Bullet lipstick? I'm, mm, I'll swatch it. So, this one. Mm. A really pink one. They're basically the same. I'm just gonna mix them honestly. And you're gonna want to mix this in with the lip liner. You want to go over the lip liner. I didn't used to go over my lip liner and that's where I messed up. Going over the lip liner is going to create a shadow behind the lipstick only on the outer corners this is how it makes you look like you just got lip injections and just like that we're done so this is my tutorial my tutorial on how to do everyday glam baddie, Instagram baddie makeup. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was the most requested on Instagram. Like I said, I do polls on my Instagram all the time. So if you'd like to be more a part of what tutorials you see, follow me on Instagram and be sure to peep my story. Um, so if you guys try this look, be sure to tag me or send it to me, something. I hope you guys had a great new year, a safe new year. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all the things. Um, and with that, I bid you adieu. Goodbye.